Welcome to part two of our series on protecting your organization's security and privacy with Google Workspace. My name is Steve Newman, and I'm a sales engineer at Sweetbriar. Today, we'll be covering context-aware access. Using context-aware access, you can create granular access control policies to applications based on attributes such as user identity, location, device status, and IP address. This demo will cover context-aware access from both the admin and end-user perspective. For admins, we'll cover how to create and assign access levels, as well as how to set the custom user message for blocked applications. For users, we'll cover the experience of accessing approved and denied applications. In this use case, to illustrate the concepts, we'll assume that a group of users is located in the United States. These US users should only be able to access Gmail when they are located within the United States. The users can access other workspace applications such as Google Drive when they are outside the United States without any restriction. Access levels define the context required for a user to access an application. In this example, we will create an access level using the geographic origin attribute. Now we're in the control panel. On the left-hand side, select security, access and data control, context aware access, now we're in the context aware access settings. Select access levels. We'll select create access level in the top right. A name is required. We'll call the rule access from United States. We'll select add attribute at the bottom. Select the drop down next to add attribute. You'll see there are multiple attributes available. You can use them in combination or choose an individual attribute. We'll choose geographic origin. Now our users are inside the United States and we're gonna set a rule if they're outside the United States, they can't have access to Gmail. So we'll select United States for the geographic origin. Now we'll select save. Now that we've created an access level, we can assign it to the desired application and users. In this example, we'll assign the access level to Gmail for the United States organizational unit. By applying this access level, United States users will only be able to access Gmail if they are within the United States. In the context aware access settings, select assign access levels. Choose the organizational unit United States. Here's where you can assign the applications. We're just gonna assign Gmail. So we'll select assign next to Gmail. Here you'll see a list of all available access levels. We're gonna select access from United States and now save. In this section, we'll set the message user C when they attempt to access a blocked application. In the context aware access settings, we'll select user message. We'll select the United States organizational unit. Next to the additional custom message, we'll select the edit icon. Now we've inputted our own custom message. Gmail access is only available in the US. Please contact IT support for assistance. Now on the bottom right, we'll choose override to override the default setting for the other organizational units. Now we'll walk through the end user experience. In this example, a United States user is currently traveling outside the US and is allowed access to drive. We're on the application dashboard We'll select Drive in the top right corner. The Google Drive homepage opens as expected. The user can access Google Drive while they're traveling outside the US. There is no change or impact on the user experience when accessing Drive. The experience is the same as if context aware access is not enabled. Now we'll look at the end user experience when accessing a blocked application. In this example, a United States user is currently traveling outside the US and is not allowed access to Gmail. We're back in the user's application dashboard. We select Gmail. When they attempt to access, they receive an error notification. You'll see our custom message is also displayed. Thank you so much for joining us today. We enjoyed showing you how context aware access works. If you have any questions or would like some help setting up context aware access in your organization, just let us know.